Hey, this is Harris Kendrick at Maple Street Guitars in Atlanta, and today I'm going to show you a couple guitars that we love. Uh, the first one is an Eastman E10D. This is a mahogany back and sides guitar with an Adirondack top. It has an ebony fingerboard um, and an ebony bridge. It also has a bone nut and saddle. Um, so those are really nice appointments um, at a really great price point. So. I'm going to play some uh, chords on this guitar at first so you can kind of get a sense of what it sounds like in that context. Um, and then I'll do some kind of lead picking for you. So here you go. Okay, so we just heard some uh, chords on the Eastman E10D. This is the Eastman E20D. So the main difference here is that this guitar has uh, rosewood back and sides as opposed to mahogany. So uh, let's do the same thing on this one. We're just going to listen to some chords and then I'll play a little bit of rhythm. So here we go. So. <laughs> Okay, so we've heard both of these guitars uh, with like some rhythm playing and just playing chords. Now let's uh, now let's hear what they sound like if you're going to try to play some lead uh, flat pick style guitar on these instruments. But before I do, I wanted to show you guys. This is just we think this is absolutely gorgeous uh, mahogany. Um, really, really nice uh, tone woods on both of these instruments. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you the back before I flat pick a little bit. So. Here we go. Okay, so we just heard a little flat picking on the Eastman E10D, the mahogany back and sides instrument. Um, so now we're going to do the same thing on the E20D, and I wanted to show you this back as well. We got some really, really pretty rosewood back there, so really nice stuff. All right, so here we go. So I hope you've enjoyed this comparison of the Eastman E20D and the Eastman E10D, both of which are outstanding uh, dreadnought guitars. So just to go over a few of these appointments again, we've got an ebony fingerboard, an ebony bridge, uh, bone nut and saddle, um, open
open back style tuners, which I think are really cool. Uh, both of these guitars have forward shifted scalloped bracing, which is kind of a pre-war style bracing, um, and we think uh, lends, lends to a really great sound. It helps create a really great tonal response from these instruments. So, hope you've enjoyed this video.